That's it. Mm. I was just going crazy with it, like. So you started as an artist. You eventually, now you into the DJ. Mm -hmm. Is there any artist that you would see, that you see that you would like to work on, work with? In the Philly? In, in the city? Philly. We're going to start in it's Philly, a, then we're going to go beyond. But we're going to every, come on home first. It's a few. It's a bartender here tonight, Jen. Her daughter is fire, like natural talent. Like, What's her name? Give her a shout out. Don't do that to me. Wow. <laughs> well, I am going to give her a shout out. But I've been drinking and I don't want to fuck up her IG. But I will have it on the screen by the time y'all air this. Oh, I bet. But her, um, I like... I like Yagyola and his folks. Okay. Shout outs to Yagyola. I feel like it's a few the bottom, people. What up? Me, me, what I do, like I'm on some Diddy shit with this. Mm. Like I can like go in the studio, and not say a word on your song, mm. and help you create a song. Mm. Like what my specialty is giving an artist that can rap that record. Mm. So Good like I, I went to LA for four years. I ghostwriting for a bunch of people. I can't say, dude in the NDA and I did. Under Armour commercials for Cam Newton. You could look them up. I then ran it up. Nissan. Like, I've been like on behind the scenes with it for a minute, and I'm just like, I really want. I want. I want a bunch of us to fucking invade the industry, like yeah. on some Philly shit. Yeah. But we just gotta like stay focused, mm -hmm. stay out of fucking trouble, sure. and and get our head in the game. But. How did you beat the streets? Like, mm -hmm. like you know what I mean? Cause we know how the streets suck us up in Philly. Like, like a lot of us, like, you know what I mean? Like we want to do certain things, but it's like, we, we need money or like how your upbringing was. Like how was it to where that you beat the streets? Mm. I'm gonna think about this real good. Cause I, I, I feel like this answer could change a lot of people's lives. Mm -hmm. And one thing I'm gonna say right now is you need to learn a craft a craft because when I was fucked up, I worked jobs. I ain't one of them niggas, I ain't never work a job, I got it. No, I worked at Maggiano's, I worked at Shake Shack, I worked at McDonald's for one day, like. <laughs> What's you still work there, you still there, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if that's not you, you learn a craft. Literally, go on YouTube, find out a craft, I don't care if it's changing the oil on a car. Damn. You could put an ad on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and offer up. Yo, I'm a mobile oil changer. I pull up to your crib and change your oil and run up a bag off of that. I was hanging TVs. I learned how to do it off of YouTube. I was mounting people TVs in cribs that I wish I lived in. And also you meeting people with money. Right. That can might like, yo, my man got a crib right. and or he got this job. That's my biggest attribute to get to the streets, yo. Learn a craft. You don't want to sell drugs and risk your freedom. Learn a craft. There's people out here with money that will pay for your talent. Mm. So I don't care if you changing breaks. All that shit is simple. Mm. And if you need a quick loan, honey, you can ask 10 people that you love and love you for $20 and buy the equipment you need. Damn, I asked you that the other day, you Listen, told me no. It's so crazy, it's, crazy. it's so crazy that he say that I'm gonna give y'all this quick game. It's something called trades me, mm -hmm. right? And then there's something called uh, trades money. It's a bunch of, it's like a spot where they, you don't need no experience or nothing. And you can go right on and jump. I forget the other thing. When I think of it, I'm gonna tell you, cause where it's like, you, 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 and you upload craft. your talent, exactly. you, you upload you what you craft, do. And then you can get on there like, hey, I'm a painter. Hey, I'm in this. Mm. You know what I, mean? I build banisters. I, exactly. like, it be some. Yeah. I fix holes in a wall. Yeah. A lot of people losing their security deposit because they don't know how to patch a hole. Exactly. You could be a hole patcher and, and be running Philly. Yeah. Exactly. And you know Just niggas be holes. fighting with their girls and fucking up the crib. Exactly. So like, easy. Cut it, fit, shit fit, like fit, that. Fit, like fit, that's right. how I beat fit. it. The streets by learning little crafts, and I ain't had to like stay in that that street life right. for sure. Yeah, that's all I like. That was dope. I got the game. Drop the jewels. That was dope. You don't yeah. Got to be on the corner selling weed, none of that. You man. made the same money, if not more, and not risk your freedom, mm -hmm. just learning how to do one thing. Mm -hmm. You could be fixing sockets, like little shit. This shit is red, black, and white wires that you mm -hmm. think you got to go to college for three. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Go on YouTube, 
YouTube how to do this. Mm-hmm. YouTube University. Go on that I mean. and learn your craft. That's how I stayed out the way. Right. And all I got is parking tickets and, and disorderly <laughs> conduct. Right. I ain't got nothing crazy on my jacket because I learned some shit. Like, mm. So do you feel that streets is the biggest problem with artists in Philadelphia? Yeah, mm. I do. Because a lot of jobs in Philly cater to women. Like, unless you a bar bat, a lot of people want to work in the nightlife. And the only job for a man in the club is the DJ, security, and a bar bat. If you ain't doing none of them, then you ain't got no job. So, like, again, that's why I tell them, learn a craft. There's other money out here mm-hmm. to get. Like, you could start your own AAA mm-hmm. on, on a local tip. Yo, you got a flat, I come plug your shit, mm-hmm. change your tire. There's so many ads you can put up. You just got to stay dedicated and do it because people got money and they and, they spend it with you. So once you, once you, you said you was working at all these jobs, you was putting apps up. Did you, in, how did you invest your money? How did I invest my money? Like after like the job shit? Yeah, or like, like what once I did you get with the paid, job money? You, uh, we already know oh, you, you, was, you was an like, aspiring I started, artist. I started investing into what I was into, like mm. the hanging the TV shit. I bought an uh, impact drill. Mm. If you gonna hang TVs, if you wanna go that route, you need an impact drill mm. that could go through brick, sheetrock, wood. You need mm. that type of drill. Mm. You get that. Or me, I wanted to invest in the music, so okay, that's I wanted I was... to pay for a laptop. Okay, wow. I'm stacking up every check. I get my little three something. I put a bean away for my laptop. Mm-hmm. Got 500, I bought a used laptop. Now I'm back to Temple. Yo, who got the programs? I need Fruity Loops. I need Pro Tools. I need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get in that. You know what I'm saying? My brother helped me out a lot of ways. DJ Dan, he, he, he went to Gerard College, so he was working in there, cleaning dorms and shit over the summer. And he would like plug me in with different shit or give me his hand me down. Yo, this is my old laptop. This you. Yeah. Like little shit like that. Like so you really got it like, out the mud. I, yeah, we all was just working like yeah. just getting trying to figure this shit out. Yo, right. we was fucked up. What's relationship now? It's great. That's my little brother. Like no, we was so broke. Like it was so hot in the crib. We pushed the bed to the window and slept with our heads <laughs> in the fucking window. Like, yeah. that's a moment I had with my brother. I remember that night. It was hot as shit. Oh, man. <laughs> we got our fucking ass whooped. Hey, <laughs> Dan, you got to come through, My dudes was like, yo, y'all could have fell out. Y'all could have died. I would have went to jail. <laughs> but, like, we was fucked up together. Like, mm-hmm. but, yeah, that's bro, man. And, and we just we just grinded it out, man. For so, real. So, so we... We Philly first 48, we go find artists, we give them a platform, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You the DJ right now. How can we make you up there? How can we help you to get up there to be compared or be better than uh, uh, Green Lantern, or The Clues, uh, all the other DJs? How can we help you do that? Because if you, if you make it, then we got a slew of artists that you can help put on. So mm-hmm. how can we help you? First... Let me take a step back. Let's start with the artists. Because when I went to uh, AC3, A3C in, a, in Atlanta. Y'all heard that? It's a music festival they do in Atlanta every year. And I sat with the, uh, me and uh, me and uh, what's his name? He had He Holders. He Holders record pool. He. We went down there and we waited to the end of the night to talk to DJ Holiday, which is Gucci Man, DJ, and 